Welcome to Electra Online. Our next example is kind of in a strange format. The quantity x plus 6 times the quantity x plus 5 equals 2. So what we probably should do is first get it into this format before we try to factor it. The temptation is to go ahead and move the 2 to the left side, set all this equal to 0, but then you can't use the technique to solve for x that we normally use. So first what we're going to do is multiply everything out on the left side, move the 2 across, get it into this format, and then factor it so that we can solve it. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have x times x, which is x squared, plus x times 5, which is 5x, plus x times 6 is plus 6x, and 6 times 5 is plus 30 equals 2. We can now combine these two terms and move the 2 across. So we have x squared plus 11x plus 30. 30 minus 2 equals 0, and now finally we have x squared plus 11x plus 28 equals 0. And now we're ready to factor it so we can solve for the quadratic equation. In other words, solve for the two values of x that, um, where the parabola would then cross the x-axis. So here, this can now be written as the product of two binomials equals 0. We can see that we need an x here and an x here because x times x is x squared. Notice the coefficient in front of the x squared term is just a 1. Since all the signs are positive, we need two plus signs here. And now we're looking for two numbers, here and here, in such a way that the sum is equal to 11 and the product is equal to 28. The sum must equal this number and the product must equal that number. So let's see, to get 28, 4 times 7 is 28, and 4 plus 7 is 11, so those are the two numbers, 4 and 7. Now that it's in this form, we can use the property of multiplication, that if you multiply two numbers, you get 0, one or the other must be equal to 0, which means that x plus 4 must equal 0, or x plus 7 must equal 0, which means that x equals negative 4 as one of the solutions, or x equals negative 7 as the other solution. And that's how you get the solution to that particular quadratic equation when you start out with a strange format, first get into the standard format, and then solve. And that is how it's done.